the weaker form of islam is madhab remember that when islam becomes weak it transforms into madhab only madhab means rites and rituals if a child is born do aqiqa circumcision etc pray according to your own level don't disturb others do tasbih in the house 24 hours rituals rites r i t e s this is the weaker part nowadays west is trying to eradicate the idea of khilafa system or this word to remove from the surface of the earth this word is very bad very negative very horrific don't say this word is a bad thing they are trying to do that like jews they coined the term deliberately antisemitic anyone who abhors jews antisemitic like the nazi party like the party of joseph stalin like the party of this uh, bolshevik manshevik communist comrade negative words you concoct you make it deliberately to insinuate the other opposition people anyone who opposes charge him with the terminology get rid of him without a trial in a talk islam has become a weak ideology now gareeb as prophet muhammad peace be upon him said islam will become gareeb nobody will know what is islam it will become gareeb and blessed are those who will become gareeb when islam will become gareeb now people call us taqiya rusi uncivilized barbaric ankut you mullahs mulattas you have big beard food is going down into your beard you barbaric you don't know how to live in the world but when the jew has beard it's a part of the religion but when a muslim has a beard terrorist anti social character this is a deliberate intellectual hypocrisy to create ambivalence dichotomy into the environment so that you going to live in a haze you never know what's happening close your eyes except like a monkey see no evil hear no evil speak no evil this is my brothers and sisters happening with us what is the real islamic system this is the main thing they want to destroy they want to eliminate the real philosophy of islam ideology of islam and that is vice gerency vice roy you see when british conquered or rather invaded india queen victoria was sitting in england as a royal goddess in what it comes but vice roy mount better or whosoever was sitting and controlling the power in india this relationship is to be found in islam as the king allah allah is the king who allah allazi la ilaha illa hu al malik he is the only king and you people you the created beings of nutfa of this mind dafir you are nothing just the mouthpiece voice roy of allah you have no right to give any fatwa 
or any ruling from your own inclination. Whatsoever Allah will say, Amanna Saddaqna, you obey and listen, Samayna wa ta'ana. That is all. Now this thing has been removed under the guise of democracy. In Majlis Ashura, Alama Iqbal, one of the friend of devil, Shaitan, Lucifer, please. After when this imperialism was going down, no colonial rule. So one of the member of the Shura, Majlis Shura, actually it is a simulated Shura, one of the person from spokesman said to devil, Tordi bandone akao ke khaymo ki tanab, People have broken this tanab of the tents of this imperialism. Because you see imperialism was the plan of devil. So they are getting worried in the shura. Hey, mere aqa, oh my God, oh my Lord, inverted commas. Ye jahan zere zabar hone ko hai, jis jahan ka hai fakat teri siyasat par madar. That this old system which we built with Illuminati or we with free machinery is getting demolished because of this thing that people are not ready to accept the enslavement anymore. What should we do? You are the one only supreme power who can decide the political issues. So Satan said to that guy, don't worry. Hamne khud shahi ko penaya hai jamhuri libas. Jab zara adam hua hai khud shanas so khud nigar. We ourselves put this guys, you know, disguise that the clothes of democracy to the kingdom. This democracy because the mankind, the children of Adam, they are in the habit of self-actualization, self-importance. The conscious level of human beings have arisen to self-actualization and self-importance. So nobody is likely to be enslaved by other people. People are intelligent enough now. So devil said, that don't worry, we also plan against them through democracy. It's the same thing. Either you touch the ear from the, from make the round of your hand or you just uh, touch your ear with the same side of the hand. It's the same thing. Tune kya dekha nahi maghrib ka jamhuri nizam. Have you not seen the system, the democratic system of West? Roshan chehra andro change se tariq tar. This glittering face is on the upper side, outer appearance is very charming. But inside it is darkest than the Changes Khan. Islam is total socio-political economic system, then it is complete. The weaker part, as I already told you, is the weaker part when it breaks into Mahar. That is why after the destruction of Ottoman Empire, the West is trying its best, never, never, never to be implemented this system again in the Muslim. That's why they divide into um, these people, nations. Where is Ummah? Ummah means one Imam, you follow under one Imam or a way that everybody follow on the same track. So the best thing is nationalism. That's all. Tum Pakistani ho, to main Indian hu. Tum Syrian ho, to main Arab hu. That is all. Keep fighting till day of judgment. وَعَتَّسِمُ بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعٌ وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا So hold the rope of Allah all together. But how are you going to hold the rope? How? You can't hold the rope like this, guys. So please, this short lecture is only to let you know that Islam is not madhab. Islam is a deen which means total socio-political economic system, we have it. But unfortunately, we are so busy that we are just running towards the Western system and we say unconsciously or consciously that this is the only system which is compatible and which will lead us towards the great success. But this is not the success, guys. 
تمہاری تہذیب اپنے خنجر سے آپ ہی خودکشی کرے گی شاخ نازک پہ جو آشیانہ بنے گا ناپائیدار ہوگا یو آر کریٹنگ دس ڈسٹرکشن بائی یور اون ہینڈ بیکاز یور ٹریز روٹس آر ویک دا بگز ویپن آف ڈیول از ٹیلی ویژن یو کال اٹ مائنڈ کنٹرولنگ دا بگز ڈیول جن ان یور ہاؤس از جارج اورول سیڈ ایف یو وانٹ ٹو ہیو اے پیس ان دا سوسائٹی کک دا ٹیلی ویژن آؤٹ فرام یور ہاؤس از ایون دا ویسٹرن پیپل دے نو دیٹ ہاؤ دیز میگا لومینیکس controlling our minds today you call it mind control through media and many other ways but television is the biggest problem of this century you see little children are being attacked by the new norms and ways of life which they never have ever thought the previous generation when they were alive that one day the children will come to the stage and wear prostitute dresses and they will do dance and people will you know clap for them that wow they are looking like stars talented children all these monkey tricks subconsciously we are getting brainwashed from television new fashion new ideologies philosophies are creeping in our minds making us paralyzed prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the time will come when islam will become gareeb not known to the people as a mass you see now you go there and i tell someone about islam say really is it in the hadith the quran I am hearing it first time. You monkey, you are hearing it first time because you never likely to hear. You never go to mosque, you never go anywhere. You are a thumb sucker of the western civilization media. You are a puppet of them. You are subconsciously getting brainwashed and now consciously you are acting like a monkey. This is the television, guys. you will not even know that your psychology is changing day by day because of the television the dramas television movies the things they are show they are showing into the movies is more oriented towards illicit sex adultery rather to marriage and bonding and having a fair social values they are doing it and this is a deliberate rather i call it deliberate program social engineering deliberately they are doing this to remove all the values of human morality and muslims are getting caught up television guys trust me just throw this jinn from your houses throw this away they are eating your wives your mothers your sisters your daughters your brothers this television is eating them into some certain alien nature brainwash mind control they are controlling our minds and we not who we know who these people are media jews you see 100 years back the book was written I think so if I am not wrong in Switzerland protocols of the elders of the Zion and they wrote it in protocol number 13 we will distract the minds of the people from the real meaning of this life into media into sports competition singing music hypocrisy in your hearts prophet says some said that music grows hypocrisy in the hearts and that is why we are hypocrites now because we most of them we are music lovers and this is what's happening right now total perpetual brainwashing continuously brainwashing 
that which is reaching to alarming proportion, epidemic proportion. And if you don't put a full stop now, trust me that the Prophet said in the hadith that the fitna will be so much into extent that you will tie yourself with the chains in your houses and <laughs> if by mistake the chains get broken, you will commit fitna. You will go into commotion of the jal. The jal means the one who tricks. If you understand the jal, then it is no fitna. Fitna, the jal means that you must be fooled, otherwise there is no fitna. Because the meaning itself shows it. Fitna, the jal, that you will be fooled. If you are not getting fooled, then it's not a fitna dajjal. So we are getting fooled now because we are under fitna dajjal. So we should read Surah Kahf according to Prophet to let us know that what is really happening. This telling.